I was asked by the lovely Judy, hi Judy, um, to go over making book pages the right size and I know I've already done a video on putting a signature together but I'm going to make the start of another signature. Um, so I have um, a heap of children's book pages and I am going to, um, I've already made a few of these, I'm doing some traveller's notebooks. So I know my pages need to be 11 centimetres by 21 centimetres and I've got my inches bored out. So it is um, four and a quarter. No, no, it's not. Yes, it is four and a quarter. I don't need to turn the ruler really around, do I? By eight and a quarter. Four and a quarter by eight and a quarter. I hope that kind of makes sense to you guys who use inches. So the first thing I do is decide which way round I'm going to have my page. Now I'm going to first of all cut the bottom of this. Um, I'm going to take a sliver off the top. I hope I don't cut off much in the way of heads there. No, I can probably get away with taking off a little bit more because then what will happen is I can keep as much of this bottom as I possibly can. I could probably still take off a little bit more because there's only one one kind of head that's close to the top and you know I, I can live with that um, but I don't want to take too much off the bottom. So now I want this 21 centimetres high so I'm going to cut that one there. So I start with looking at which orientation I want my page in the book and which way and you can see how uneven that actually cuts. Let me just find my... Um, I've, been, I've been working so I've got a bit of a mess. <coughs> bit of a mess. paper in here because I've made quite a lot of done quite a lot of pages the last couple of days. There we go. I'm just gonna try that one more time. I don't think it's really gonna make a lot of difference. No, it's still not not straight. <laughs> um, so I, I start by working on the height. So again this page I want in the journal the right side so what I'm going to do first is I'm not happy with that some of the um, ripped edges I like some of them I don't I, like, I can't give you a reason right so if I cut this to 21 I'm going to cut off border at the top and the bottom so I'm just going to take half a centimetre off that side and I'm going to take this to 21 centimetres which will take a little bit of the border off that side Okay, so that one is now done. And I'm going to do the same with this. Um, I'm happy with that torn edge, so I'm leaving that. I'm sorry if the lighting's not great. We have had a downpour <laughs> in the last few minutes, and it's, it's a bit dingy outside. Okay, so 21 again. that one done. Now this one um, I'm going to have in my book this way so I don't want to cut that as yet because I'm pretty sure that is smaller than 21 centimeters yep and this one again I'm not going to do that one. Now this one I'm going to have in the book this way so I'm going to take I'm going to take a tad off the horse's head. I'm just going to check how I'm in frame. I'm just going to take it off the bottom though because I want to be able to see this and that edge is not straight. So I'm going to bring it down to the bottom and I think I can cut the head off to about there and 
how does that leave us for the bottom? We're going to cut to about there. So if I have a look, I'm just going to cut the my mousies, the little mousies feet off. So that's not too bad. So that one is going to be that way. This one is also going to be, yep, I want this one up the right way too. So I like the birds. I'm not so worried about losing losing um, the man at the bottom so I'm just going to trim a tad off the top there and then we'll go 21 high this way so we've lost a bit of the man I'm happy with that this one I'm going to have this way round again and I think we do need to trim a little bit off this but what I'm going to do on this one is I'm actually going to trim a little bit closer and make this no I'm not because my stupid paper cutter is going to just cut the paper yep right I'm going to cut that one in a minute with my knife and this one is going to be the same no that's really sharp there's no um, paper in here now. I just can tell that paper is not going to cut using this so I'm going to cut that one using my knife in a bit. This one I can cut quite a lot in actual fact all of it from the top so let's measure that at 21 so that one's okay this one I'm going to have this way and this one I do need to cut quite a bit off because this is much bigger than 21 get rid of that for a minute um, unfortunately I'm gonna to have to turn my board over <laughs> so I can measure actually it doesn't really matter um, my 21 line I don't know if you find this if you constantly use a board even these self-healing ones they do get a mess and I scrub this with a scrubbing brush every now and then and basically all I need to do is make sure I'm lined up with a line doesn't really matter which one and this is a nice new blade in here too so because I need that for the next part okay now do I want to take some off the other side yes I do I'm happy to have this as a shorter page Gonna line it up with one of my lines. Um, this board is so old; it's not, it's not actually very straight anymore either. So I'm measuring this up to that half, half centimeter line. Oh, that moved quite a bit. <laughs> ah, yet another. It doesn't work on camera. And this one, I'm gonna do the same again. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to line that up with the top and just bring that in a bit. Okay. Make sure I'm putting my weight evenly over this. That's still not stray, is it? line it up with the lines on the book page on this side much easier okay right so this is our book pages and a lot of mess these bits. Um, so this one is going to go 
uh, this way round, maybe that way round. Yep, we're going to have that one that way round, that's going to go that way, that is that way, that's the right way, that's that way, that way up. Yep, we're going to have that way. That's going to be that way. This way, this way, that way. And that way so none of these pages this is going to be the height of my journal and these are all now cut to 21 centimeters which is travelers notebook height the next thing I'm going to do is decide whether I'm cutting any off either end now this one I will so I go back through the pile I'm going to try my other paper cutter and I know that I can't have my book page any more than 11. So what I do is I cut them roughly and then I'm just going to measure it. And this is less than 20 centimetres. So I know that one I can now fold in half and this will be how it appears in my journal. Now this one is probably going to be a bit too wide, but there's nothing at either end I'm worried about losing. So I'm going to just fold that in half, take it over here. Now that's a really small amount to cut off, so I'm not going to do that because I will show you what I do afterwards. Um, I can lose a small amount of this. So I can get most of that, most of this image into um, my my page. So what I do is, bearing in mind, the journal is going to be um, 11 centimetres wide. When you stack, let me find one that I've already done. When you stack your pages inside each other, you get quite a, a distance between the outside of your spine and your inside um, crease of your, your middle page. So that distance there is probably already half a centimetre with that amount of pages in. Now what I do is I make sure my outside page is 11 centimetres. I'm going to show you this in a minute. I line the ruler up and then I cut so my pages are all flush. But that means the inside page is probably going to be closer to 10 centimetres. Now, when I cut down here, if I have pages like this one that are folded and that crease is outside of my cut line, that means I'm going to lose my foldy flap, which I don't want to do. Who wants to lose their foldy flap? So what I do is if I'm folding a page, I fold it at... 10, 10 centimetres. I don't fold it any less than, any longer than that, unless I know it's my outside page, because otherwise I'm going to cut cut through my crease. So I come to my uh, my 10 centimetres, and actually I'm going to do that this way up, so I've got a nice straight line, and I hope I'm in frame as I'm doing this, but I'm going to fold at 10 centimetres. So I'll make a little crease, and then... I fold. So this one I want to make the same size as that one so I don't cut anything off and I make my page, my crease. So this is now 10 centimeters wide and I know when that goes into my journal I'm not going to cut this fold out bit off when I trim. So we've now got three pages ready to go and this one I know I'm going to cut but that's fine. Now this one, I don't know that there's anything in particular I'm worried about keeping. So this one I'm going to cut at 12 centimetres only because it's easier when you're trimming to cut off a centimetre or more than it is to cut a sliver. I know some of the pages are going to have a little sliver to cut off, but it's easier to cut off more rather than less. 
when we've got that in the journal. So this one I know is going to be smaller. This one is going to be smaller. Or do I want that this way? I'm going to make this this way round. I think that's the way round. I'm just going to check. Yep, yeah, it's 20 centimetres by less than 11, so that one's good. Now this one, I can lose this amount. I don't need that piece. There's nothing on the other side. So I'm going to trim there. And I'm happy if I lose some of the bottom of that page. So I'm just going to measure. And obviously twice 11 is 22. This is 21 centimetres, so I know I'm not going to lose any of that page. I do hope this isn't making sense. <laughs> right, now this one, I can afford to take this part off the bottom. I mean, this it, a lot of people are not going to be worried about how much of the picture you get, how much of the writing you get. Um, 21 centimetres, or 22 centimetres is going to be above the writing. So I know I can take that to the writing. And I'm going to fold this one quite small. No, I'm not, because that's going to be 21 centimetres. I wonder if it's worth folding this one this way. I'm not going to use that page for a minute. So this one I'm literally going to fold in half and if I have to trim some of that end that's fine. This one we know is 21 centimetres. I really like that page for the middle so I'm going to fold that in the centre. This one I can take quite a bit off. So I want most of that top bit though. I'm just going to trim, I'll leave the word kitten, but I'm going to cut off the rest. Let me just measure. Oh, 22 is the most I can be, so I'm going to cut this to 20 because that takes me to the edge of that and there's only text on the back. And then this one, actually, yeah, I still want that this way around. I'm going to fold that there. Now this one is the one that I want as a folded page. So I'm lining up the crease on this one. Make sure I've got it to 10 and I'm going to fold it. I hope this is in frame. Yep. And I'm going to take the other page and I'm going to line that up. Now, as you can see, what that means is this bit is going to hang over on both sides. It's about a centimetre over my the spine. So I'm going to open that out to have a little look. Now I need to make sure I don't lose too much of his face. So to do that I'm folding the page backwards and I am going to pop this in to my trimmer and cut. And I have a feeling that's still going to be, yeah that's too big. So um, now I have to make a decision what I'm going to do. This one is fine. I can cut quite a bit off this one. So that's going to be a fold. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take him off completely. So there's room for journaling here and I've still got some of the image on the other side. So that's that done. So now what I do is this is going to be fairly close to the outside. That's going to be the centre. And because these two pages are both from the same book, they're from Mother Goose, I'm going to put one of these further out. I don't want this one on the outside though. So I'm going to add that. This one, this one, I think I'm going to add 
this. This is quite a big one, so I want the larger pages spread out. That's quite a diddy one. Um, I'm going to pop this one in here. And then that's going to be my centre. So these are all my book page pages. This I can absolutely still in include. This I am going to make um, pockets and things with. Love. Actually, I might keep that page. It's got a fox on it. <laughs> um, so now the pages that are longer. Once I what I do is I like, actually I use the twenty line now because my thirty one line is better. To cut so I need 11 centimeters so I line the spine up with 20 and then I'd cut so that is all of my book pages in and all I've got to do is add my plain pages now this particular one um, I've used uh, an ivory paper in this so what I do is I squash my pages together you can pin them you can absolutely pin them. Let's pin them. So I'm doing it the way you probably will. I mean, you can use, I haven't got any of the um, proper clips anywhere close by at the moment. So I'm going to open it up, squash it all down, and pop a paper clip there. Make sure it's squashed down, and pop a paper clip there. Okay, so they are nice and scrunched together. Here is my ruler. Now I need to find my knife under all this scrap. And I'm going to, I'm just lining this up, this spine, with my 20 centimetres line. So 11 would be 31. So I'm going to line this up. I need to come a bit further on my board because my mat is hanging over the edge of my desk. Now I tend to use a rotary cutter for this, I don't normally use my knife, um, but the lady that has mentioned this has not got a rotary cutter yet, so I'm going to show you how to do it with a knife. And I actually what I'm going to do is I'm swapping, <laughs> just so I don't take my fingers off, I'm going to swap to my metal ruler. I'm just double checking my spine is lined up. Yeah. So I come across to 31 centimetres, standing up, putting as much of an even pressure on as I can, and I am going to trim. It's going to take a few sweeps even with a sharp knife, a sharp knife with a bendy blade apparently. Right, and I'm not worried about those going on the floor right now because it's more important not to let go. So now I have a little, little extra bit there but I have a nice straight flat line and the beginnings of my traveller's notebook. So I hope that was useful. I know some of this I have gone over before, so I apologise if you've watched previous videos and it has been a bit repetitive. Oh, camera strap. Um, but, you know, it's all, it's all good. Um, I hope that was useful. Uh, that is just basically how I make sure my pages are the right size. But to be honest with you, it actually makes it more interesting if some of them are you know a bit shorter not all of the same size and you know that's just how I do it so there you go I hope you liked it um, I will speak to you very soon um, probably tomorrow we are going to put all the embellishments in our journal that we are making because I've got a lot of stuff to do for an art fair I'm doing before we move on to the vintage style books that I want to do too um, I will see you very soon Thanks, bye.